Hey everybody, it's me, Sean. Welcome back to Production Line. And I am sure if you are watching this video, you had to have read the description. And although I haven't typed it out yet, I am almost certain that the title of this episode is going to be Series Finale. So that means that is the final episode in our little run here. Um, just just kind of run out of stuff to do, to be honest. I mean, there is more that we could do, for sure. You never really run out of stuff to do. We, we have plenty of room. We got all this room in the middle here. All this room over here so you know what I mean it's not like we're out of room but practically we're out of room because we've gotten a very strong line of cars going through can't really make any more cars and uh, yeah so um, what we are going to do here before we wrap it up though I'm going to run a uh, an ad campaign here and we'll uh, hopefully that'll help us clear some of these cars out of our stock room I don't know whether it will or not but they're just sitting there. We got three million dollars for the cars sitting in our stock room. May as well spend half a million dollars to try to get rid of some of them. And um, yeah, we'll just have a, a good old time watching, uh, see how this whole thing wraps up. So you know, we didn't, um, we didn't. Um, uh, what am I trying to say here? Like we didn't break any records. Uh, we didn't have an extraordinarily profitable car company, but we had a very, what's the right word for it, productive car company. Like, we make a lot of cars, and we really push a lot of cars off the line, and uh, we should feel good about that. I'm going to watch, this looks like a sports car, is that right? I don't know, but we're going to watch that little car follow along the line here. Um, but I feel like things have gone pretty well overall. And um, I feel like we've had a good time. And I hope you'd have too. Um, this, this game just gets better and better. And uh, I've really enjoyed everything that has been, been brought to the table with the newer version of it. And I look forward to enjoying it again here in another couple of months when there have been some more updates and we can come back and discover some cool new stuff that is being featured in the game. Um, but I do feel like we've kind of... Not that there's not more to do. And, you know, I mean, that's just one of those things. You get to the point where the game is still fun to play. And I could keep playing it because I like I don't mind stuff that gets a little repetitive. Um, because you can eventually break through that repetitiveness and, and have some sort of satisfaction. You know what I mean? Like, it would be nice to, be, to, to increase our profitability or something like that. Um, but it just doesn't make for interesting videos. Like, I... I can't keep talking constantly uh, through the, uh, you know, indefinitely. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, that's just where we are. So we're going uh, to wrap this up with today's episode. Uh, but we're still going to have fun and enjoy the rest of this episode. So no need to worry. We're going we're gonna to watch this little sports car go through, the, go through its paces as it gets, um, I guess, like painted and... Um, Mm, it's going to take a long time to get through the, uh, the paint thing here. Here we've kind of run into the, uh, run into the uh, uh, bottleneck. So there's going to be quite a bit of waiting as it tries to work its way through, way through the bottleneck. So our, um, our advertising did not seem to do much of anything since we now have 90 cars in here. You know what? Let's launch a, another campaign. But we are not reducing the number of cars that we have in back stock. We're actually increasing the number of cars we have in back stock. So that's not very helpful. Um, one thing that, you know, I mean, I, I believe marketing is new to this, uh, to this version. So we can look forward to potentially some changes being made to marketing and uh, maybe a little clarity there be nice to get a little more clarity on what's going on with the market. I think the market feedback and stuff was also new with this update. This is a pretty big update. Um, well, 130 was a pretty big update. 131 was uh, not as big. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice to have a little more, a little more feedback on maybe why the cars aren't selling as well. And uh, maybe a little more permanence with what your advertising does. Um, I don't expect permanence, you know what I mean? But 
only lasting for the 12 hours or whatever while the actual marketing is going on that, that, that doesn't seem that seems too short now it could be that we're still now okay that's a different car model type I was like it doesn't seem like we are oh boy that's really gonna take forever to get through that let's maybe skip ahead a little bit hey look at this orange one ah uh, but even there they're all backed up all the way through here there's another peach one but that's not a sports car And bend down to this part of the line since we started constructing it really now it's interesting we have a uh, generic model sports car and we d are not boosting the uh, the value on that car what definitely need to increase the markup on that car how the heck did we only have that at 5%? Should be like 15. That one's fine to keep where it is. Not that it really matters. Yeah, even our Vanilla International is selling well at 20%. Oh, only 25% for the Zippy's Folly, huh? Why are we not greedy enough with that one? We should be a little more greedy raise that price up. Alright, I'm tired of following that car along in detail. Um, no need to do more research. Is that all of our research? It is. I, I never actually put any more in, in there. Oh, no. Over here too, huh? No wonder we were getting so much research done. There we go. Now I will give it some research, but it's not going to ever get anywhere. Zero points generated per turn. Oh. So now you're going to keep telling me that until I actually start doing some research? I just want to have that thing stop flashing is all. It's fine. I can slap one research thing down. Look at that. We're up to almost $3 million. So I guess my concern about, uh, about uh, financial stability was unwarranted. Wait a minute, why are you still flashing? I, I don't understand. Facilities. Research office. Stop flashing, please. Does it need to get to like 1% or something before it starts, stops flashing? Research now. There we go. Much better. Thank you. I don't know why I let that bother me so much, but, you know, I did. So, yeah, you know, we could try to work to get rid of this monstrous backlog. It seems to be mostly due to breaks, which is funny because that's the area we were trying to fix up in the first place. Um, but... You know, we can only we can only work on uh, perfecting our line so much, especially like it's super crowded here in the break area. So, um, yeah, always hard to end a series, and then once you decide that you are going to end a series, it's always kind of hard to make that final episode too, because I kind of want this to just be like a five-minute episode, um, but at the same time. Like, we know it's going to wrap up. What's the point of dragging it out? Uh, you know, there's not really... Not really worth it to keep going on and on and on. We know that there's not going to be any more after this episode. Why? Lost track of my mouse. Um, I do like the, the financial stability. What is going on there? I guess those prices dropped a little bit. Maybe that helped us out. But, boy, we are making a lot of money all of a sudden. Maybe it, maybe it's the advertising. Could be. Huh. So we're not making any money on the Fallville. Or the Fallville... Oh, it's because those are old models. That's why. So which is the one that we discontinued? The Gasping Rock? No. It was the uh, Fort Ranchos, wasn't it? I 
Oh, okay. This is the one that we archived, right? Shit, shit. No, I don't even know. Fort Ranchos. Yes. And if we look at this here, Fort Ranchos does not show up in there. Great. Okay, well that's good to know. So there is a way to look at an archived car. I can reduce the price on that a little bit. Maybe that'll get it out a little faster. We've sold... Okay, so we've sold quite a few in the last 24 hours, but we're still accumulating cars in our showroom. Majority component purchase, raw materials. So we're still spending a lot of money on components, even though we're making... I mean, we've reduced it overall. Imports. Wait a minute. Okay, there we go. Well, steel is our primary expense. Um, so I guess exhaust would be the one that we would probably want to be manufacturing next if we were to continue down that path. Oh, so budget cars now have air conditioning, car alarm, central locking. All right, so we probably need to improve quite a few of our budget car models to be able to keep up. Good to know there. Okay, guys, um, I think I'm going to wrap this up here. Um, it has been a lot of fun. I thank everybody who's enjoyed this series. And um, I hope uh, you will come back to enjoy another series. Um, I, like I said, we will revisit this game again here in a few months when there's a couple more upgrades and some cool new stuff. I'm not sure when there's going to be like a full, like a uh, final release. But I would, uh, like if that comes around, we'll definitely revisit it then. But I expect that, that like, just based on what Klifsky does, I'm going to think there's going to be a little while yet before we get to that point. But who knows? Um, anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you'll check out some of the other videos that I make. And uh, if not, you know, see you around at some other time. Um, yeah. Bye, everybody.